Here we're asked to compute each of the following, showing as much work as possible, round to two decimals, and then check results using our calculator. So let's take these one at a time. Part A is the square root of 49. So we are looking for the number multiplied times itself that gives us 49. That number is 7. Let's double check that on the calculator. Square root is here in blue. So I'm going to press second, and then it's the x squared key, but it's above that, 49. And notice this arrow here and how I'm still underneath. This is called the radical. I'm going to use my right arrow to move and end the radical at the 9, and then press Enter. So my result is checked by the calculator of 7. Another way we can check square root of 49 equals 7 because, I could do because, if I square 7, 7 squared, I get 49. So when you see a square root, what you don't see is a 2 root here. We don't write the 2, but there really is a 2 root here. In part B, this is the cube root of 8. So what times itself 3 times will give me 8? Well, 2 to the third power is 8. So the cube root of 8 is 2. Let's check that on the calculator. And I'm going to need for this one, there's no cube root on the main panel here. I'm going to press the math button. And I'm going to see that number 4 is a cube root. So I'm going to press number 4. I want to enter 8. And then once again, use my right arrow to move out of under the radical. So I get cube root of 8, press Enter, and I confirm that my result is 2. Looking at part C, the square root of negative 49, well, the only two numbers it could be between would be 7, and 7 squared is 49 which is not equal to negative 49, or negative 7, negative 7 squared would also be 49, which is not equal to negative 49. When we're solving these, computing these, we're computing these in real numbers. So that should probably be part of the directions, because we know that in the complex number system, we can work with negatives under the radical, but not in the real number system. So the correct response here is to say that this is not a real number. And let's verify that on the calculator. So I'm going to press second and then get to the square root. I need negative 49. Once again, move to end the radical after the 9 and press enter. And it will tell me non-real answer. And that is what we've written here. So if I press enter, that will take me back to my main screen. I'm going to go ahead and clear that out. Part D, we have a cube root of negative 8. Now the difference here, remember when I have a square root, there's a 2. So something squared is not ever going to equal a negative. However, something cubed could be negative. And in this case, that would be negative 2. Negative 2 to the third equals negative 8. So the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So let's check that on the calculator. Remember, we need to press math to get to the cube root, which is number 4. I'm going to enter now under the radical negative 8, and then use my arrow to end the radical, press enter, and I confirm the result of negative 2. All right, let's take a look at part E here. And when I use my calculator, I'm going to kind of take one approach. And to show by hand, I'm going to take another approach. So I'm going to convert part of what I have here into radical notation. And so this 2 is the same as a square root. So this is the square root of 25, and then cubed, and notice the negative is on the outside. It's not part of the exponent. So the square root of 25 is 5, so this becomes negative 
5 cubed, and that's going to be negative 125. So let's double check that on the calculator. On the calculator, I'm just going to enter negative 25, and then an exponent. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that in parentheses. This particular calculator, I don't really need to do that, but your calculator, you might need to, so I'm going to illustrate that here. I'm going to use my arrow key to take the cursor down from the exponent to the main part, so I ended up having to use the down arrow for that. Press Enter, and that confirms the result of negative 125. Let's use the same approach on part f and see how it's going to be different. So this is going to equal, now the negative is within the parentheses, which means it is impacted by the 3 halves. So this is going to be the square root of negative 25 raised to the third power. I need to do the inside first, but because inside I have a square root of negative 25, that is not going to give me a real number. So let's confirm that with the calculator. Once again, I'm going to use just directly entering, and negative 25 is inside the parentheses. I'm going to raise using the caret, raise an exponent, parentheses 3 divided by 2, and parentheses, and then bring my cursor down and looks like, I thought it was the down, but it looks like it's the right arrow that will bring it down. And hit enter and confirm that we have a non-real answer, which is what we have indicated here. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to clear out my home screen. The last two, I'm going to have to compute directly using my calculator. There's no whole number that I can raise to the seventh power to give me 49. So I'm going to need to use my calculator for these. And I'm going to go to the math menu and I want to point out number 5. And number 5 here allows me to put any number in for the root. But I have to be careful because what I have to do first is I have to put that root. So that's going to be the x that you see right here. So that's the root. So when I enter option 5, see how it put the 7 as the root. Now, depending on your calculator, it might leave it down as a big 7, but as long as it's in front here, in front of this radical, that is the root. So 49 is what's under the radical. I'm going to move the arrow to the outside, press enter, and then I'm asked to round to two decimals, so that's going to be 1.74. Again, remember that to check, you could take 1.74 and raise it to the seventh power, and we'll see how close we get. 48.28, so that's not quite 49. If we had used more decimals here in the original representation, we would have been a lot closer to 49. Let's check the last one, the fourth root of 12 cubed. So let's see on our calculator. Again, I'm going to clear this out. We need a fourth root, and then under math, it's number five. <laughs> then I need a 12. Then I need an exponent of three. Once again, I'm going to press my arrow to move, and I have to press it twice to move my cursor outside of my radical. Then I'm going to press enter and that's going to be approximately 6.45 as a final result.